Hi, this is James Banbury. I'm the Managing Director of Sugarbite. We are a sugar CRM uh, reseller slash implementation specialist based here in the UK. And uh, I just want to create a quick video just to show you how you can create, um, do a little bit of configuration in sugar so that you're capturing not only the reason why you're losing opportunities, but also sort of spark or trigger some thought into also recording why you're winning certain opportunities. So we've been involved in, gosh, just over 200 different implementations uh, across Europe. And one common theme that crops up when we're in the design phase of Sugar is uh, making sure that users, sales reps are recording why we're losing opportunities. Um, it's something that comes up in pretty much every sales CRM um, implementation. Um, but one thing that we also like to challenge uh, the customer is um, is to consider recording also not only just why you're losing the deals, but why the sales rep believes they won that particular deal. That can provide some very unique intelligence um, for analysing why you are winning uh, your opportunities as well. So this is just a quick video um, to show you how we build these fields into Sugar, how we make them dynamic in Sugar, and what kind of reporting you expect to get out of um, implementing this into your Sugar CRM system. Uh, so one of the things that we're going to be doing is also showing you how to make these fields visible and only show up at the right time. Um, two reasons why this is important. The first reason is we always strive to make the look and the feel and the user experience of Sugar as easy and uh, as simple as possible. So uh, instead of having 50 fields show up all in one place. Um, we like to make them show up at the right time and at the relevant time. Now the second reason is a technical one. We want to make these fields required so, they, so that when a sales rep uh, sets the sales stage of the opportunity to closed one or closed lost, they cannot save the record until they have put a value in for uh, why they think they won or lost the deal. Right, so how do we do this in Sugar? The first step is to add in these two new fields. So we pop over to admin, go into studio, open up the opportunities module and go into fields. And the first field we're going to create is that drop down of why we won or lost the deal. So we select the data type as drop down, field name, display label, add in a new list. So with my list now populated with the reasons why we lost and why we think we won the deal, I'm then going to save the list and then I'm going to save the field. Now the second field that I'm going to create is the text area field. So the first field, the drop down, that is really an enablement for being able to create some reports and being able to um, very easily group the results of that report based on the value from the from the drop-down field. The second field, which is the text area field, this is going to provide me with uh, a little bit of further context as to why the sales reps were winning or losing these deals. And although it won't be an enablement for being able to group the results in, in a report and create a fancy chart, I can create a summation with details report which is going to allow me to view all of the opportunities closed one, closed lost in the last 60 days and get some visibility on some contextual um, extra detail information from the sales rep uh, as to why they thought we won or, or lost these opportunities. So uh, this field type is going to be a text area and you can call, you can call this field whatever you like. This is just a, a kind of a rough guide. Uh, what I'm doing here. So four rows, 20 columns, um, and the rest will sort out later. So I'm just going to save that field. And then the next step is to add it to the layout. So once that's finished saving, we're then going to go into the record view and we're going to add a new row. Now it's a good idea to put both of these fields on the same row. Since they will be dynamic, they will be showing up at the same time when we set the sales stage to closed one or closed lost. So it's just ideal to have them on the same row so that when they do pop up, it's not going to affect the layout for any other fields. 
So there's our drop down and there is our text area field. So we're just going to save that. So now we've saved the layout, the next thing to do is to go in back into the fields and define the parameters for when we want this field to show up. So the first thing that we're going to do is set the dependency to be from a parent dropdown. And remember, this is all being driven from the cell stage. So we select cell stage, we click on edit visibility, and what we need to do is we need to drag and drop the various um, values into here for whatever cell stage they belong to. So um, I've got four or five values here for why we think we, or how we've classified how we might have lost these opportunities. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop them into the closed lost value. Okay, and one thing that I should have done, and I'll do that right now and then skip, skip forward to the video, is add in a blank value. Because without the blank value in the drop down field, then when this pops up, it's going to automatically default to one of these values. So I'm just going to amend that now. So I'm just going to add a blank value to the list. Save. And then make sure that I'm adding the blank value to the top of each one of these lists as well. So again, closed in the closed one column, I'll add my blank and then I'll add the values for why we thought we won this deal. Okay, with that now done, we will click on save. We'll make this field required as well and uh, perhaps we'll audit the field as well and then save. And then we'll go into the text area field because we also want this to show up when closed one or closed lost is selected. Okay, so this time, because it's not a drop down field, it's a little bit trickier to write the formula that dictates when this field gets shown. Um, but if you're, if you're used to Boolean logic, it's fairly sort of simple. So the formula that we're going to use uh, will include some OR and equal statements. So what we need to do is go into dependent and this field will be visible if and the formula that we're going to use is an OR statement and then we're going to say that the cell stage must equal closed one or the cell stage must equal closed lost. So that's the formula for this field. Again we'll make it required, click on audit and then click on save. Now just a couple of last minute um, housekeeping items here as well before we go on to test. Make sure that you add it to the available column or the default, the default column for the list view as well. Um, so what we'll do is just pop that over here into the available column, make sure that people can actually see this in the list view, save and deploy, then add it, adding it to the, or at least the drop down field to the search layout so that people can also filter in opportunities list view for the reasons why winning or losing. So I'm just gonna save and deploy that and now we can test it. So as always when making changes in Studio and you're working in, in, in Sugar in another tab you want to do a full browser refresh just so that it can pull in that new configuration and now we can run some testing. So I've got an opportunity here let's go in and let's say for example we lose the deal then here's these two new fields that pop up. Here we can then select why. Uh, the cost was too high. Extra detail based on their budget of, so a little bit of extra context. The first drop down enables us to report, it enables us to create some funky bar charts and pie charts um, and, and, and take a look at a much higher dimension, a much higher level as to why we are winning or losing deals. And then the context gives us uh, that ability to drill into each opportunity to understand why we, are, why we have won this deal or why we have lost that. So then we're going to save. And again, alternatively, if we win a particular deal, then we can 
select Y, and you'll see that the result here in this in this Y drop down is dynamic. So it's now referring to the values um, for why we won the deal, and of course it's the same text area box that shows up uh, where it gives the sales rep that ability to add in some more context and more detail. So let's look at what we can do when this system is implemented and Sugar's been running a little while, you've got some data in the uh, database. Uh, well, it enables us to then uh, report on the information. And then of course, from those reports that generate charts, you can then embed them onto your dashboard. So just pulled up a few ideas here. So on the left hand side, top left, we, we've got a dashlet displaying why we are winning um, these opportunities where each slice of the pie represents the value of those opportunities. Um, we can see that we have won £612,000 worth of business. And uh, if I hover my mouse over one of the slices of the pie, I can see that we won £158,000 worth of business because our sales reps indicated that the reason why they thought we won those deals was because of the cost. Um, similarly, on the right hand side there, we uh, are looking at why we are losing the deals. And again, information feedback from the sales reps, um, letting us know why they felt the deal didn't go through. Just a different way of slicing and dicing the data on the two uh, dashlets displayed at the bottom. Um, instead of each bar or each slice of the pie representing the value of those opportunities, we're just simply counting the number of deals that we're losing. So if I hover my mouse over this second bar, we can see that um, each bar, instead of being represented by the value of the opportunities, we're, we're instead this time counting them. So we can see that We've lost 20, or we've won 22 deals because uh, our offering met the requirements a lot stronger than the competitors did. So this is some idea on, on, on some of the ways that you can slice and dice the data, use this for analysis, understand why you're winning uh, opportunities as well as losing, and uh, some other things that we can do with this information. We can run summation reports with detail, so getting that chart-based element showing up at the top but then also have ability to drill down into the information for further analysis. So that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope that you consider implementing this into your sugar systems.